Hey, what's happening YouTube gangsters? Today I want to do a quick tutorial to show you how you can get a bass vibration effect similar to the one that you just saw. Uh, this, this is a pretty easy effect in After Effects. We're going to do this using expressions, so don't freak out. I don't want you to go home and run into your mom. Uh, this is not a, it, it's not a very uh, complicated expression to pull off, so um, sit back down and pay attention to what I'm going to say because I'm going to enlighten you here and make your life better. So first thing you want to do, you've got your footage in After Effects, you want to go to the position. Before you click on that stopwatch, you want to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard then click the position. And what this is going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, this is going to bring up your expression window where you're going to type in your expression. Um, the expression we're going to use is wiggle, W-I-G-G-L-E. And then you're going to put an open face parenthesis. So there's two values we're going to put in here. The first value is going to dictate the speed of this vibration, meaning how much your video is actually going to move, or it's not how much, how fast it'll move. So we're going to go ahead and start off with a value of 30. Now when I put in these values, these are not set in stone. People, you can do whatever values you want here um, to accommodate your project. So if you feel you need to increase or decrease these values, go right ahead. I'm not going to call the police on you. Second value is the movement of your video up and down and sideways. So since this is a subtle vibration, you're going to want to use a small value. Um, this isn't going to look like an earthquake. It's going to look more like just kind of a very subtle. So I would start off with maybe a five uh, and then we'll go from there. So once you've got your expression in, um, the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to scale up your project a little because you don't want this video to, you don't want to be able to see the edges of your video as it's moving up and down. See these borders here? Your video is going to kind of shake around here and then you'll see these edges if you don't scale. So you, on a subtle vibration, I usually do 101. I try to go as low as I can. Um, this is 4K footage, so it really doesn't matter. It's, I'm not going to see any loss in quality. But if you're using 1080, you know, obviously you want to, you never want, really want to scale up because you you're going to lose quality on your video. So keep that in mind, you know. Um, and as you increase these numbers here, especially the second value, you may have to increase this from 101 to 102 or 103 maybe, you know. And, and I'll show you after we go through this what I'm talking about. So the next thing you want to do here to sell this effect, you're going to want to turn on this motion blur. I don't know if you're familiar with this or not, but it's the three circles right here. Click that on, and what this does is enables motion blur on the movement of your video, which gives it that realistic view, kind of like what your eye really sees if you're shaking or something shaking in front of you. Um, after that is turned on, that's pretty much it, and you can preview it, and here's the effect. You see it's subtly vibrating, <clears throat> kind of like uh, if you had bass in your music, that might be just subtly vibrating it. If that doesn't look like it's enough, like I said, come in here and you can change this value um, maybe to an eight and see how it's the vibrations even more now. Um, if it's not going fast enough, you could change this to 50. And see how the vibration slowly changes. So you've got a little bit of uh, manipulation here where you can bring that up if you want to make it even bigger movement you know change that to 15 I mean you can you can change these numbers to whatever you want it doesn't matter so you see this is a even bigger I mean this you could even have this as a vibration for bass um, depending on what song you're playing or, or it doesn't even have to be for music it could be for anything um, but that's basically it and remember like I said if you increase this I'll, I'll give you an example so say we move this movement up to 50. See how big that is? And see here how you can see the edges, top edge. I mean, you can see them all at, at one point or another. So what I would do is I might come up to here and I would start off with 102, you know, and you could still see it kind of popping down. So then I'd move up to 103. You just want to do the bare minimum on this because you don't want you can still kind of see it on the bottom, so I'd move it. Probably 104 is going to work on this. 
but it's just a little bit of trial and error. And so there you go. Now you can't see any edges shaking around. So you kind of want to work your way into it um, because like I said with a um, 4K video, it's, it's not a big deal to scale in a little because you won't see a loss in quality. But with a 1080, you're going to see a little bit of loss in quality the more you scale in. So be conscious of that. Um, that's basically it. So if you like this and this helped you, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, if you enjoy watching tutorials on After Effects and Premiere, short, quick tutorials, go ahead and subscribe because that's what I do. I bring short, quick tutorials uh, that enrich people's lives. If um, you have any questions for me, go ahead and drop it down below in the comment section and uh, I'll try to answer as best I can. Or if not, I'm sure there's other people with knowledge watching this video that can uh, help out too. That's what's great about the comment section is everyone can help each other. So that's all I had for you guys. I'm out. Peace.